Arsalan Kazemi and EJ Singler and just hold up your hands and Pat right here. Uh, for EJ, this is Pat Forty from Yahoo Sports. I'm just curious uh, what Coach Altman has brought to the program to, to bring you guys up to this level. Uh, he's, just, he's done an unbelievable job. Um, you know, over the past three years he's been here, um, he's, he, the first two years uh, he really didn't bring in, you know, his own guys. He had to, he had to bring in some transfers and stuff like that. But I think this year uh, it's really it's been his true uh, first recruiting class. And I think that's made a huge difference. Uh, you know, he brought in the guys he wanted, uh, you know, to run his offense and stuff like that. So um, he's just overall, he's just been a really, really good coach. And uh, uh, he's really taken or Oregon basketball to the next level. Right back here. Arsalan, uh, John Clay from the Herald Leader in Lexington, Kentucky. Can you talk about uh, your decision to transfer, how you ended up at Oregon, and how close you came to uh, coming to Kentucky? Um, well, I mean, um, I had a situation at Rice that I decided that I have to transfer, and then, uh, I mean, at the end, it ended up coming to between Kentucky and Oregon, and I just I just did some research on myself and. Uh, Oregon was the best place for me, and that's why I chose Oregon. Right here. Nancy, Ar Nancy Armour with the Associated Press. EJ, can you just uh, describe what it's like trying to prepare for the Louisville Press, and is it something you guys really can prepare for uh, in a couple of days? Yeah, Coach Altman likened it, likened it a little bit to trying to get ready for the Oregon football team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, obviously, Louisville uh, is an unbelievable defensive team. Their press really, get, press really gets after you. Um, and you're right. Uh, you really can't simulate uh, their pressure in practice. But you know, all you really can do is uh, get ready for it, um, talk about it, uh, know what you, you're gonna have to do against it, uh, have some break presses. Uh, installed and uh, you know that's what we've been doing this past week we've really been focusing in on breaking the press and being really strong with the ball and limiting our turnovers but uh, you're right uh, you really can't simulate um, you know the game speed of what Louisville plays at. Arsalan can you talk about basketball in Iran uh, you know I guess you started when you were nine just how you got started and how well developed the sport is in your your home country. Well, when I started basketball, it wasn't that big in my country, but uh, by the time that I got to the age of uh, 14, our national team started winning a championship, the Asian championship, and basketball became more popular uh, in my country. And I started basketball. My mom uh, bought me a basketball for kind of like our Christmas. Uh, well, we don't have a Christmas. It was, uh, it was a gift for our new year. And uh, I, just, I just loved it. I played it the first time, and I just... Uh, played more and played more, and I just f fell in love with the game, and uh, I continue playing. Dana O'Neill with ESPN.com. EJ, when you look at the other programs in this regional, where does Oregon fit in? Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, the other three teams uh, here are very historic. Uh, you got Duke, you got Michigan State, you got Louisville. Um, you know, teams that have all won national championships, all have been here. Um, in this place that we're at a lot. So Oregon's uh, definitely, um, you know, not a, a, up to that par of uh, just the history. But um, we're, we're definitely excited. We're a part, a part of it right now. And uh, being able to play against, uh, you know, teams like this, this is where we want to be. Um, and uh, I feel like this is where we're supposed to be. And um, I think... Uh, I think uh, our team is ready and uh, can't, can't wait to play against um, Louisville on Friday. Right here. No. EJ, I wonder if you could tell me how, how Arsalan fit in, both, both on the floor as a force, on the boards and things, and as a guy, as a teammate. Uh, from the very first day, uh, he fit in. Uh, I, I can remember uh, our first couple practices, he picked up the offense uh, 
uh, quicker than some of the guys have picked up in a year. So uh, he's been unbelievable for us this year, uh, both on and off the court uh, as a leader. Uh, he's definitely brought um, uh, this team. He, he, he's definitely a guy that uh, puts a team together. Uh, I could say, you could say he's the cement to our team. Uh, so uh, he's, he's been unbelievable. Uh, he's a great friend. Um, and uh, just really happy we could have him on our team. Hey, Tim Sullivan, the Louisville Courier Journal. For either player, there's been so much attention about Louisville's pressure defense. What aspect of your game are they going to have the most difficulty with? Arsenal? Um, well, I think they're going to have a hard time guarding our half court stuff. It's just a matter of getting the ball across the court. And uh, I mean, they, they're doing it for 40 minutes, so. We're going to have some turnovers, but we just can't let that like affect our uh, attitude. We just got to play through it and try to get the ball across the court, and after that, make them guard us. DJ, you want to? Uh, I, uh, I think that's right. I think uh, our half-court offense is really good because uh, we have a lot of threats uh, that can score. Uh, we got a lot of different people uh, that can do a lot of different things. So. Um, we just, uh, like Arsenal said, we just need to get it to our half court sets and run our stuff, and we got to execute, and we're hard to guard when we do that. Questions for the student athletes, please? Yeah. Arsenal, uh, John Clark from the Herald Leader again. Can you talk about your adjustment when you got to Oregon about fitting in? Fitting in? Was it easier than you thought it would be? Can you just talk a little bit about? Uh, about that adjustment uh, period? I mean, uh, it was hard for me, first of all. I mean, just the city, uh, I, I went from a big city to the small city. That was a hard adjustment for me. But I mean, the people in Eugene, Oregon, they're so lovely. And I mean, uh, I, I just got engaged with them more. And I met a lot of different people. And that made me feel more comfortable. And Eugene became my home. And after that, basketball-wise, I mean, it was a new offense. I, I struggled a little bit. but. Uh, I think I picked up the offense really quick, and I mean, when you picked up the offense, it's just uh, ev everything becomes so easier for you. And uh, I, I think I was able to help other people to get through the offense too. In the front, I can't remember what I was going to ask. <laughs> if you made it through to the Final Four, how much of a splash would it make in your country? Would they are they paying any attention to this tournament? Well, Questions for Arslan. <laughs> uh, I mean, right now they're paying a lot of attention. There are a couple of newspapers that they're uh, following me pretty closely, and they write down everything that we do here with the Oregon basketball team. And I mean, I think it's going to be a big expo uh, exposure back in Iran because, uh, I mean, first of all, I'm the first Iranian guy in it that I'm playing in NCAA, and I mean, first guy that is going to make it to the final four. So it's going to be, I, I think it's going to be pretty big. and. I mean, Oregon, I think, is really well known in Iran right now. We've got time for a, a few more for the student athletes. Anybody have anything else? Yeah, Nancy. EJ, when you talked about uh, breaking down the Louisville press, how, how do you guys practice that? Do you put extra bodies on the floor? Do you, you know, do sprints? Or look, how exactly do you go about doing that? Um, we, we have put an extra guy on just to make it more difficult to break, but um, there's not really a lot you can, much you, you can do uh, to simulate it. Um, all you can do is uh, practice it, uh, have some place for it to break, and, uh, um, but uh, I, there's really nothing else you can really do. But uh, I, thought, I think we've uh, really gone over it each and every day and focused in on it. So. Uh, Hopefully that focus and extra work we put on it uh, can help us. Anything else? Thanks, Phyllis. University of Louisville student-athletes will be here momentarily.